All right, number 87 off of the 2001 practice physics GRE. Two spherical, non-conducting, and very thin shells of uniformly distributed positive charge Q and radius D are located at a distance 10D from each other. A positive point charge Q is placed inside one of the shells at a distance D over 2 from the center on the line connecting the centers of the two shells, as shown in the figure above. What is the net force on the charge Q? I should say little q is the test charge and big q is the charge on the uh, shell distributions looking at the answers briefly they're all very similar looking you can see the direction uh, of this force the net force we're trying to figure out uh, alternates goes left right left right left which is interesting i don't know why they didn't do them in order but they alternate them fine uh, the differences to the answers are integers basically in the uh, in the denominators uh, or in this uh, case in answer e in the numerator as well but uh, nothing I can intuitively at this point eliminate so I'm going to look at making a simplification and as it turns out this is the best way to go about this problem is to make this quick simplification and hopefully you remember this from freshman physics but when you have a spherical charge distribution like this the it's very interesting in that the forces cancel out inside of a shell like this such that there is no net force another way of saying that that you may have heard is that there's a constant potential we could set it as zero if we like. There's a zero potential inside of this shell. Intuitively, it's always, uh, it made sense to me. Um, and of course, you can also do the integration to show yourself that it's right. I remember doing that in, in freshman physics. Um, but intuitively, it makes sense as well. See, this charge, um, he's here. He's closer to this side where there's going to be uh, these are both positive, so they'll be repulsing each other. So he's going to be repulsed by this side, and he's further away from this side. However, there's less stuff, there's less charge over on this side, and there's more over here, even though on average these pieces of charge are further away, uh, there are more of them. And so again, you can do the integration to prove it to yourself that that symmetry allows there to be zero net force caused on this on this test uh, particle on this test charge that's inside of this spherically symmetric charge distribution so that's always the case once you're inside of it uh, the the forces cancel out and that goes for not just the electromagnetic force as we have here but also gravity so I'm going on uh, we should get to the problem uh, in in summary basically what I'm saying is you can imagine this entire shell on the left hand side here uh, the left hand charge distribution as not even being there it's gone so all of a sudden the problem is looking much easier much more simple uh, we have this charge distribution here and or excuse me this point charge here and this charge distribution here and that's all there is we can simplify it even more knowing that there's no dimension associated with this this is a point charge so this one we can imagine as a point charge as well. We can uh, take this entire charge, big Q, and concentrate it at the center. It's identical to the spherical charge distribution. Um, for this purpose, as long as this is not a, a, an extended charge distribution, as long as we can treat this as a point charge, we can also simplify this as a point charge. So now we're very simple. We have two point charges separated by some distance. We have to calculate the distance. It's going to be 10D less uh, D over 2, so we just subtract that off. But uh, we can, at this point, eliminate some of these answers intuitively. Uh, if this is a positive charge, and this is a positive charge that we're treating as a point charge at the center, which direction is the force going to be on this charge from this one? Hopefully you can see if they're both positive, it's going to be repulsive. Uh, it's going to be pushing this charge to the left. So we can eliminate a couple of answers. We can eliminate the ones that say that the force is going to be to the right. 
but still we have three left so we're gonna have to do a calculation to select the right one the uh, as it turns out we're basically going to use Coulomb's law I tend to remember Coulomb's law like this and for this problem that is not sufficient you can see there's no K uh, the K is just a lumped in constant you probably remember K is uh, the same thing as 1 over 4 pi uh, eta naught eta uh, or epsilon I forget which one we got there uh, E naught let's call it E uh, that's the permittivity of free space and so uh, this is identical so the the form of Coulomb's law that is what you would want for this problem is something like this or pi I think it's epsilon not r squared okay so we're going to plug in our values to solve the problem so we have little q big q all this stuff is the same and then we get an r squared and the r in this case as we said is going to be 10 d minus a half d don't make any silly little mistakes here if uh, it helps you to do an extra step something like that this should be a minus sign that's a minus sign minus uh, D over 2 you get 19 D over 2 and then we have to plug that in here square it so because this is the denominator, we can basically just invert it, and that's going to get us to our answer. Uh, I'm going to invert this, so the 2 squared becomes a 4 up top. We get a 19 squared and a d squared. It's uh, probably a good idea to have something like 19 squared memorized as a times table. I made a point of memorizing uh, all those squares, so 11 squared, 12 squared, 13 squared, all the ways on up to 19 squared. Uh, I just made a point to memorize so I don't even have to write out 19 times 19 and, and do a multiplication there. Uh, it's 361, so hopefully that's a familiar number to you. And that's what we get. The one simplification that falls out, we drop that 4 off. That 4 can go, leaves us with... Uh, Q, Q over pi epsilon uh, 361d squared. And uh, that is answer A.